Six or five at the free throw line tonight. And on the season, he's just a shade under 80 from the line. I'll bet he'd like to get that up over that mark. Guys, he's slightly fallen off his pace from a year ago at the line, and those points from the strike have been a little harder to come by. Well, Clark, we know Nikola Jokic has many interests outside of basketball, like training his horses. I love that about him. When basketball season is over, he knows exactly what he wants to do and needs to do to take care of his body, but he's not going to be a slave to basketball year-round. He's got other interests, and he's going to indulge and engage in those. He's got other passions, which I love seeing, and horses apparently one of his other passions for sure. In at the guard spots, it's Murray and Brown. The forwards are Porter Jr. and Gordon to his side. And it's Jokic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. Murray, the pass to Gordon. Over Green. And it's Gordon missing. Warriors leading by 12. Heald finds Wiggins. Porter with the steal. And the Nuggets pushing it up now. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Well, that's a nice take and make by Murray, a scoring guard with tremendous skills and confidence. Jamal Murray is still an elite scorer, and Clark, he has fought through so many injuries. And it's remarkable that he's as explosive off the bounce as he is after the injuries that he's dealt with. His ability to create a shot, especially at crunch time, one of the best in the league. The pull-up jumper, the teardrop, and the three, he's got all of those. Find the lane. Find the lanes. One shot. Free throw good. Murray. Clark, obviously, this is a results league for head coaches. And we're always going to see lots of changes at that position. I think you're exactly right. I don't necessarily agree with it all the time. I would like to see owners and general managers and decision makers be a little more patient, give coaches a little more runway. But we know it's a results-oriented league. And oftentimes, the reality is that it's easier to change one coach than it is perhaps to change a handful of players on a roster that's not performing. Here's Brown. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic has got his third assist on the night. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. They've led by as many as 14 points. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. 0 for their first three attempts. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Porter. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. Healed outside. Kicks it to Green. Just five on the clock. Back to Heald. Hands the shot with nobody near him. And the Warriors lead by seven. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. Passes it to Brown. Back to Murray. Takes it inside. Banked in off the glass. Murray's got five points in the quarter. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Green kicks to heel. Off target with his three. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Out to the wing. Here's Brown. Covered by Heal. Sinks that one from the post. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Pass to Jokic. Warriors with the rebound. 
Jackson Davis has got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's the lob to the hoop. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Well, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Jokic. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Murray against Curry. Goes back up. And it's Jokic missing. Well, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. Green dishes to Curry. He kicks to Wiggins. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. That's his fifth foul. First in points off turnovers. And no team has been better at scoring on second chance opportunities. Just relentless at attacking. I love how their bigs play in the paint. And Greg, that field goal percentage you were talking about, they're the best in the league because of how smart they run their offense. You see nothing but good shots from them. Kuminga's come in for the Warriors. Pajemski's coming in for Andrew Wiggins. Green against Jokic. Murray for three. Denver gets it back. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. Come to me, come to me. Here's Brown. He's defended by Pajemski. Here's Murray. They get it back. Jokic on the follow. Jokic has got it back down to within single digits for Denver. A guy who always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Jokic on top of that one. Murray outside. Back to Jokic. That's a miss. His fifth eight made field goals. Warriors leading by eight. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much. Kevin, Jamal Murray is built for clutch situations. Coach Michael Malone said, I know a lot of guys are pretty good in the regular season. But when the stage is at its biggest, Jamal seems to step up and perform. He's a guy that thrives in the moment, never afraid of it. And you can't say that for a lot of players. Kevin? Well, you're so right. He isn't afraid of anything. David, he is big time. Thank you. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. It's going to be Jokic shooting. And it goes on Draymond Green. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Warriors? Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, What's and up? the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. And, you know, on top of that, second chance points have been a major component for them. And I love the relentlessness they've shown on the offensive glass. Clark, what we appreciate, you know, for some players, success can change them. But not for Jokic. Yeah, he seems like the same guy. He certainly does, boy, and he is special. He is so much fun to watch. Seems to be even keel and down the earth, but his game is heaven sent for sure. <laughs> And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Outside Westbrook. Shoots over Pajemski. Westbrook, no good. Warriors leading by seven. Now Pajemski. 12 points for him. And Green now, top of the key. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Green's got his second basket. Inside, Green can be very aggressive and physical, allowing him to do work scoring the ball. Westbrook passes to Watson. To the left side wing. 
And Jokic wide open. He shoots. And again, Denver no good. And here's Kaminga. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. They've led by as many as 14 points. Melton finds Pajemski. Kaminga with it. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. First trip to the line for him here. Free throw good from Kaminga. And though the Nuggets have some excellent outside shooters, Clark, they've been more prolific inside the arc the last couple years. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, they were an extreme example of that, Kevin. First in the league in two-point attempts and then dead last, almost dead last, in three-point attempts. Not what most people would think when looking at the Nuggets. Both free throws good from Kaminga. The Nuggets trail by 11. Here's Strother. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around 7.5 points a game. Here's Jokic. Drains the 19-footer. Jokic has got 25 points in the game. And right now, Jokic has it going on. He's doing whatever he wants to out there. Timeout called the Warriors. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. A moment now to check out some numbers for Jonathan Kaminga. On defense, the Nuggets, they trail by nine points. Bajemski with it, 12 points for him. That one a little long. Now, here's Jokic. Defense is right there. Westbrook against Green. Westbrook, no good. Warriors leading by nine. Here's Kaminga. It falls for his fifth field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside and even under pressure in close I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities pass to Melton the shot comes out Denver's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half Jokic inside Jokic territory. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Melton kicks to Green. 
144 and left to play in the third. Oh, Kevin, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley-oop textbook, boys. Uh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. And a nice touch on the finish. Down low. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut to just nine points on the basket from Jokic. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Shot by Pajemski, no good. And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. Watson. Warriors with the rebound. Kaminga's got his fifth rebound in this one. Back to Pajemski. The pass to Moody. Puts it up from 12. Jokic grabs the miss. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Dishes it to Westbrook. Right side, Gordon. Shoots over Pajemski. That's good, and the Warrior lead has cut to just seven on the basket from Gordon. It's obvious Gordon has worked on this part of his game over the years, and you can see the fruit of that labor. The shot misses. Good D by Westbrook. But I get shooting reasonably well, 45%. Bob pass to Gordon. The shot, no good. Now Pajemski. 12 points for him. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. And so it's the Golden State Warriors ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Keep everything sharp. Keep the cuts hard. Cutting through contact. Pass is sharp. And the ball's going to fall for us. We can't give up the easy ones down here, right? Well, he can tell that he wants his team to be precise with their decision making. Kevin, he's aware of just how special they are when they play smart and play together. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. On the court for Golden State here in the fourth. Some kind of shooting in the backcourt for him. It's Curry and Heal. That's as good. The athletic frontcourt pair. Hit. Wiggins alongside Kaminga. And it's Jackson Davis in at the five spot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Got it despite fading back a bit. Kaminga's got 20. Oh, nice feed. You, you can see how Curry makes their offense flow, even when he's not scoring. Yeah, it's stolen by Heel. Inside. Kaminga, no good. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Back to Murray. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. 12 points for Jamal Murray. You know, when Murray finishes like this, guys, it shows you how aggressive his mindset is in attacking the defense. An emphatic LU jam. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Well, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Murray outside. It's deflected. Here's Jackson Davis. Kicks it to Curry. He dishes it to Kaminga. 
Porter pulls it in. Porter's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Strother. Jackson Davis defending. And nothing fancy, really, about that play. That's just good, old-fashioned, hard-nosed basketball to get that one. Curry can't get it to go. The Nuggets trail by eight to the wing on the left. Dives to the hoop. Gordon trying to break loose. Moody's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. Well, Michael Porter Jr. is one of the premier shooters in the NBA. And that size that he brings to that sweet stroke makes it hard to get to a shot. 6'10", shoots it with confidence, shoots it with great fluidity. And man, is he special. And he's worked through some injury trouble early in his career. And now he's one of the more lethal front court players in the league on the perimeter. First free throw is good. And he can't hit the second. Warriors leading by seven. Passes it to Curry. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's Kaminga. That one no good. Ice D from Porter. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Coming of the pass to Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. On the wing, heel. Pass to Curry. Six on the shot clock. Launches it from deep. And it's Denver with the rebound. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. It's Porter outside. Connects from three-point range. You know, I think this is a shot Porter Jr. has to continue to knock down. Because after all, he's out there to stretch the floor. So he's got to cash in from there. Pass to Curry from deep three-point land. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got rebound number seven for him tonight. For three, Murray, another three for Denver. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Heel the pass to Moody. Up top, Jackson Davis, defended by Gordon. Tipped away. Here's Kaminga. Nice D from Porter. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this court. Man. Out left of the wing. Here's Brown. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Warriors leading by three. Here's Heald. And the Warriors miss again. And it's Porter with the ball for Denver. So far in the fourth quarter, they belong just six points. And that's Gordon's game now. You can't give him room to hit the launch pad because if he does, he's throwing it down every time. Golden State's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Jackson Davis, defended by Gordon. Outside for Curry. From downtown. Another three from Steph Curry. This guy is unreal. That's Curry's game. I mean, you can't give him a sliver of daylight out there. And Murray, here we go. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Murray. And they are making it look easy 
at the free throw line here in the second half. And the Nuggets making a change here. Jokic just checked in. Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. And so Murray nails both of them. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. Here's healed. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. And the Warriors lead by four. Nuggets have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. And there's the pass to Gordon. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Great tee that time from Green. Now, here's Moody, defended by Gordon. Outside for Curry. Wow, magical moves inside from Steph Curry. As a defender, it's got to be a futile feeling when Curry's in the zone like this. Brown, the pass to Gordon. Second chance effort, and the layup is good. Defense really working hard to stop Gordon, but he's a skilled big man who knows how to use his body, especially in the paint. Curry finds Jackson Davis. At the elbow, it's healed. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. And talking about Buddy Heald, he is someone you can definitely count on. He can score from any place. Yeah, he's got great range, and his durability is just as impressive as his stroke. You know, most seasons, Buddy Heald plays in 80 or more games, and that is very much a rarity these days. And he's also a 40% career shooter from three. So he can space the floor, and you know he's going to be on the floor whenever it's game time. Free throw drops for Heald. Everybody knows about how Buddy Heald is an incredible three-point threat. But what I love, here's a guy with a bunch of years playing 80 or more games. Love that durability. He's ready to go whenever they call his name. Here's Jokic. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Jackson Davis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And that one is good. Six points for Draymond Green. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. Curry against Murray. Outside Porter. Lets it go with a three. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got six assists in the game. Well, the mechanics of Porter Jr.'s shot are just so efficient. Almost automatic. Gets the ball and puts it right up into the shooting pocket. Pass to Green. Up top heel. This one for three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Porter's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. And it's Murray with the jam. Boy, Murray is a better athlete than he looks. He's actually terrific as an athlete. You have to love seeing him use that momentum to bounce up and throw it down. Shot by Heald, nobody around. Off target from three-point range. The Nuggets trail by four. Jokic kicks to Gordon. Murray outside. Pass to Jokic. It's intercepted. Here's Jackson Davis. Green passes to Kerr. Back to Green. And no good. Ice D from Porter. Nuggets have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively. Shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Pass to Gordon. Shoots over Curry. 
That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Gordon. Wow, has he flipped a switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Outside curve. Beyond the arc. Sinks the three-pointer. Curry's got 25 points in the game. They're giving him a little too much space out there. That's his third triple since halftime. And he comes up with the deuce. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Murray against Curry. Pass to Jackson Davis. Back to Curry. Throws it up high. Six to shoot. To the inside. Gordon. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. And now just a one-point Warrior lead. The Warriors shooting about 43% here in the fourth quarter. Curry against Murray. Another three for Golden State. When you need a big bucket, Curry knows exactly how to come through. Clutch. The rebound by Heald. Heald's got rebound number five here tonight. And the basket by Curry. Now it's a six-point Warrior lead. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Murray. Warriors leading by six. Upside Curry over Westbrook. Jackson Davis. It's hauled in by Gordon. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Nuggets. There's the pass to Jokic. Outside Porter. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Now here's Jokic. Jackson Davis defending. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. You know, for Jokic, his consistency at the line goes back to his rookie season. He's always shot above 80% on his free throws. That's a remarkable for a guy of his two. size. Good on the first, and that brings them within five. Whatever this team needs from Jokic, he seems to provide it because he works so hard. Whether it's points, passing, rebounding, improved defensively, love his determination. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Knocking down the free throws and eating into this lead with the clock stop. Here's Golden State now. It's Curry outside. And Brown pulls it down. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that narrows the lead down to just three. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. A steady hand at the line in a tough situation narrows it to a one possession game. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. Got it! And I tell you what, Steph Curry, somebody lit a fire under him. Denver calls timeout. They're trailing by four. 29 seconds left in the fourth.
And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Stephen Curry. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Right now, let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. During that last break, I got a chance to hear what Michael Malone said to his team. He told his players, I need you to play smarter out there. We're in a rush right now, and that's why we're behind. Slow things down, run our plays, and we'll see if that tempo shifts at all. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. So tough to stop Westbrook right now. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And you know what? Who knows? A few misses at the strike. And they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. Drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Boy, how consistently good Steph's been over the course of his career. Really remarkable. What a teammate. What a leader. What a player. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. Two-possession game now, guys. Some very important free throws there. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They trail by four. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing, they need a score. Yeah, and they need it hiccup fast. I mean, they'll be drawing up a quick hitter in the huddle here, no doubt. Now here's Westbrook. Puts up a deep three. No good. Shot missing. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. They didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. And that's the knockout blow right there, guys. Those free throws should put this one away. Gordon outside. That one doesn't go. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. So we see the Warriors get the win here. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and pulled it out. Well said. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Draymond. When you look at the stat sheet and why things work tonight, what are you looking at the most? Turnovers. 
That's the key to the game. Look at turnovers and how many free throws they shot. If they weren't able to set their defense, we didn't turn the ball over, we were able to set ours. Those are the two things I look at. Certainly sounds like the foundation to victory, man. Congrats again. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.